Who doesn't love a good chaotic speedrun? I know I do, and so my sights were set on completing the hide and seek through or stay out of the house as quickly as possible. And it is now my goal to show you how I did this in just over six minutes. So you will notice right away we started the game on the easy difficulty. Can't do explore, the enemy's gotta be there, sorry. And uh, we picked episode three because the first two stages are just kind of story based, you know, laying the groundwork, if you will, to set up the actual events of the game, the core of the game, which is the house. So we started the timer right in, at the fade in point when our hero uh, Roxanne wakes up. She's a little woozy. She's a little out of it, but we're going to guide her out of here. So you start by checking out the gate and uh, going ahead and opening it up. And you'll notice right away the game is very dark. I have the gamma set to max, and this is as good as it gets. So after the code of uh, 4626 uh, is put in here, which I just memorized the inputs. I didn't actually, you know, I couldn't see it. Uh, we'll get the screwdriver, which we're going to go ahead and use to open up this vent in the next room over. I usually play on controller, and here I did, except for this particular part where I used the mouse to help line this up as quickly as I could. Still not exactly precise, but eh, the life of the controller user. Um, so we're going to start through this vent here and go ahead and take a quick left and a right and uh, work our way through. This isn't too bad to navigate, really. And uh, you'll get used to it because a lot of the resets are going to happen right after we fall out of this vent. What do I mean by this? Well, we need to steal a key. That's what makes this possible to be done so quick. And where is the key? Right on the back of the butcher. So we grab the key off of him and we run and run and run upstairs. And if you have any luck, you'll lose him right about when you get to the door here, which is what we need to use the key on. He'll just kind of give up pretty quickly. Thank you, easy difficulty. After uh, losing him and opening the door, we're going to grab the hammer out of this room back here. And the hammer, if you did not know, can actually bust open doors in this game. After five swings on a knob, it will break open almost all the doors in the game. Then we're going to open that one and then we're going to head upstairs here. And we're going to bash this one five times. And you might be wondering, why did I drop that one or open that one without going in the door? We'll do that now so I can drop the hammer right after we bust open this door right here. So I drop the hammer and we're going to run and we have a pit of spikes to jump over right there. We're going to head to the right, kind of navigate the dark hallways and find a well lit room. Thank goodness. Drop the screwdriver, grab the shed key. Move the shelf, and we're going to head into yet another vent. Thankfully, this one's pretty straightforward. We just climb through the fan here. And by the end of this, we're going to find ourselves outside. Now, you might be thinking this is where we're going to head to end the game. Unfortunately not. We'll have a little bit more to do. Because we're just in the backyard, and it is fenced in. Uh, we're going to line up a weird hitbox there with that key. And uh, with the shed key, and grab the duct tape. And we're going to head back inside. Now, you could end up getting running into the killer. I did several times here, including right here on the steps. Thankfully, he didn't block me. Navigating this dark stairwell is tricky, but uh, it's it's doable. It might take a couple tries, but you'll get through it. Make the jump again over the spikes and this time head to the left. And immediately upon entering the door on the left, we can fix this wire here for this fan. That will immediately turn on and knock a battery down for us. I don't know why the battery was sitting on a fan blade, but so be it. Uh, we're going to jump the spikes again. This time we're going to head downstairs and we're going to go into that first door we bashed open, which is immediately to the left here. And Roxanne will have like a little woozy moment here. Uh, this is scripted. If by chance the killer is there, you can go into the closet straight ahead. And usually he'll, you'll lose him through this sequence and um, you'll grab the radio battery and then we're going to head downstairs and grab the battery out of the smoke alarm and just go into the kitchen, use all three batteries on the can opener, grab the can right above, use it on said can opener, pretty straightforward stuff, and out will pop a key. Not only is it, a, it's 
The ultimate key is it opens the front door. Run past the killer. As long as you get right there, you're home free. Pretty well home free anyway. We got a little bit more to do. You can still die. Don't get you know, too far ahead of yourself. With that same key, though, we're going to go ahead and open this door here as well. And then navigate through this little fixture here, jump over the jump out the window and find the pathing in the grass, which is pretty much straight ahead in front of you, a little to the right. And then just run. <laughs> it's as simple as that. We've got about yeah, about 45 seconds of running here. <laughs> and when you're playing right, you know, the chainsaw revving butcher is going to be right on your tail here. Roxanne's going to be panting, running with all she has, and just keep going. <laughs> this is a fun speed run. It's chaotic. I know I said a lot in a short amount of time. I was surprised of how much I enjoyed it. There are three endings, so maybe I'll go ahead and do the other two down the road. Uh, but yeah, as we keep running, keep going. And we're going to find the one lit trailer here in the very back. Hit the door. We're going to go through some dialogue. And this NPC is somebody you actually see in episode one. Uh, but. Once the screen goes black. Right there, your run is done. There you go. Six minutes, five seconds for stay out of the house escape ending. Thank you all for watching. I hope you like the video. And we will see you in the next one.